Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday, post eclipse, everybody. Let me get everybody in the room. You're going to see me do a little typing. For those of you who don't know me, I'm LaTanya Taylor, affectionately known as the Rev Coach, the Juicy Spirit Mama, the Priestess of Purpose, Pleasure, Passion, and Profits. And I'm talking to two cameras today. Um, all right. So I will not be on here too long today. All right. <laughs> Unless you all are talking back to me. So let me turn on the chat. Um, let me just get to the chat here so I can, so you can talk, we can talk with each other and I'm not just talking to you. All right. What's up, Jen Nola? How are you, Jennifer? Great to see you. Okay. So post eclipse, <laughs> how y'all doing? <laughs> how you feeling? How are the empaths? How are the healers? How are the helpers? How are the, the sensitive ones, the gifted ones, the creators, the ones who have been called weirdos by your family, the ones who have been given side eye when you talk about astrology? How are you doing? How are you doing because you are the sponge? How are you doing seers? How are you doing those who are energy workers, even if you work in corporate America and you know who you are? How you feeling, baby? How you feeling? because nobody is exempt from feeling. If you're not feeling anything, it is possible that you are numb and that's a dangerous place to be, numb. Or maybe you're distracted and disconnected, or maybe you have been so full of religion that you have been taught not to, to even talk about it. But the thing is, Everybody was talking about it. So even when they tell you not to talk about astrology and all this stuff, and it's not of God, guess what? Everybody was paying attention on April 8th. Everybody was paying attention in the eighth year. They tell you not to pay attention to these things, but they'll tell you the energy of the eight is covering this year. Huh? And it happened on the eighth. And then there was a, a earthquake that was 4.8. Okay, so are we so are numbers not of God? Are astrological events not of God? What did you choose for this eclipse? Did you choose fear or did you choose love? Did you choose fear or did you choose love? Because I chose love but I'm still not exempt from feeling all of the things that came with this particular event. You say, what are you looking at, LaTanya? I'm multitasking so that I can get, get, let folks know because I'm concerned about my tribe. I'm concerned about my sisters and brothers, people who don't have tools, people who do not practice their tools, because guess what? This is not the season to be spiritually lazy. This is not the season to act like you and pretend like you, 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 you don't know and you do know. This is not the season to be trying to fit in. <laughs> Your family needs you to give them some explanations, some spiritual tools to be able to use during this season. Why? Because people are not well. They're not as well as you think that they are. Hey, y'all. Hey to all of you all who are coming in on IG. People are not healthy. People are not well. And what's happening is because so many people are experiencing eclipse symptoms. Do you know people went to the emergency room? Do you know people went to the emergency room between Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and even some people still complaining today? Because people think that spiritual ascension, ascension is sickness. People think that they're ill. And I can understand how someone who doesn't feel, who, who doesn't have tools could think that because honey, dizziness, people who are in menopause suddenly bleeding. I've been getting the mess messages. Y'all been sending me the text. <laughs> people who are, who are like, strong as an ox had to go lay down because their head was hurting because they were dizzy 
Is that you? How are you feeling? So I'm asking you, how are you feeling today? Did you even pay attention? There are some people who are not paying attention to how they're feeling and they never paid attention to all of this spiritual talk in the first place. I'm not talking to you. You probably are looking and watching and say, there she goes again, talking about that stuff. TMI, child. No. Oh, you're saying you're giving me TMI? No, no. We're grown over here. We're grown over here. You're not giving TMI, sis. I will. We are going to do a special series just on perimenopause because that right there that you just shared, uh, Shea, that's a real thing. Um, she's she um, on Instagram. She said that she bled twice. So we have interruptions in our normal programming. When we when the remember when the TV says we are now doing a special broadcast. We are we are interrupting your normally scheduled program. You know when the when the news says that. Well, guess what? God is saying it. God is saying we are. I am here. I am interrupting your normally scheduled programming. Come on, somebody. Our normal scheduling program started getting interrupted in 2020, but people were too busy in fear then, not love, not wisdom, not studying the thing that they told you not to look at, the people they told you to hate, not asking yourself why. That that was the time. We had time on our hands. Dr. Marilyn, who is who absolutely is a wellness professional, said, dizzy as I can be, very tired with people telling me I have more energy at 70 than they have at 40. Come on, Dr. Marilyn. Yes. Yes, hunty. Yes. Let me tell you about me. Sharon says, I've been feeling dizzy, fatigued, dizzy, teary-eyed, dehydrated, and I'm drinking water. Okay? Come on with it. Who else? This is confession. This is confession today because I want, don't want you to be worried. Do not be worried. We have to surrender and go with the flow. We are being upgraded. Our DNA is being upgraded. And if you did your rituals, how many of you are in the circle with me, in the community with me, and you got your rituals that I told you to do? I gave about three different things to do in our Rebirth 360 sanctuary, about three th and, uh, and mind you, all for about three weeks now, I've been talking about this, this, this eclipse season. Y'all don't be checking for your girl, but if you check in and you get in where you fit in, you don't have to try to catch up. <laughs> be mustard, don't be catch up. <laughs> corny, I know, I know, I know it's corny. So um, Mignon says, I, I've definitely been feeling dehydrated. Okay, listen, whatever you do, do not affirm in this season that you're sick and that you're not feeling good. Whatever you do, this is the time because the portal is open. This is the time. I want you to write this in the chat. I want you to participate in this exercise right now because we're sending a signal to the universe. This is your prayer. This is your affirmation. Put it in the chat. What I'm about to tell you, put it in the chat. Yes, I can manifest. Yes, it's a sentence. Yes, I can manifest. I want you to put it in. Yes, I can manifest in chaos. Yes, I can manifest in, in a new era. Yes, I can manifest in a new season. Yes, I can manifest when war is happening on the planet. Yes, I can manifest when there is inflation and, 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 and inflation. Yes, I can manifest when there's rumors of more wars. And, and, and yes, I can manifest when when I know I need to get some water in my house. Yes, I can manifest when when um, there's things happening in my heart chakra. Yes, I can manifest because Venus is governing the heart chakra and you thought you had already dealt with issues. You thought you were exempt because you did the work. You've been to the rites of passage. You've had a coach. You've had a therapist and the mother wound is coming up again. Yes, I can manifest when I get triggered. Yes, I can manifest when I'm not when I'm not perfect. Yeah, I want you to get this in your spirit because you nine ether being 
melanated men and women, sons and daughters of the Most High, the ancient mother. You are the ones who have been fearfully and wonderfully made to manifest. Yes, I can manifest. Get that in your spirit. And, that, and so whatever you say during this season, that is what you will manifest. You triggered, uh oh, Mignon, I didn't see that when I wrote that, but when I said that, you you triggered, yes, you can manifest, but do you want to manifest more chaos? Do you want to manifest more breakdown? What do you want to manifest is the question. Because you may be the one in your bloodline that has been called to be the interruption, and sometimes interruption looks like disruption. You can't go along to get along. You can't use spirituality when it's convenient. And guess what? Let me tell you for all the people who chase in the bag. The number eight vibration of abundance and prosperity that everybody was so excited for at the beginning, at the end of 2023, because 2023, seven planets were in, in retrograde and it kicked our proverbial fill in the blank. And many people are saying that, that 2023 was a blur, more of a blur than 2021, 22, maybe. <laughs> this is the time that we've been waiting for. This is what we've been praying for. Light workers, healers. This is the seat. This is why we were doing the work. This is why we study the indigenous. This is why we are we are studying, doing our genealogy. This is why we study. Come on now. I, don't, I want you to remember, yes, I can manifest right now in this season because there's going to be a, a, something else to trigger us. There's going to be something else to drain us. There's going to be another vitamin that you need to take to fortify your body. There's going to be another diet change that we're going to have to choose so that we won't, when, when we get hit with the solar flares, when we get hit with the energy, listen, the earth is quaking. There were seven earthquakes before this particular eclipse. And there were tsunamis also and mudslides that were not reported on your mainstream news. But they told you that they were bringing in the National Guard. Did y'all see any National Guard? They told you don't look at the sun, but then we know those of us who are light workers and spiritual beings, guess what we know? We know that looking at the sun gives us another kind of power as a daily diet, that when you look at the sun at the right time, that it infuses you to tap in through your into your pineal gland so that you can receive information more easily, more readily. I don't like the light angle on this on, on this position on Instagram. So y'all bear with me. I'm just going to have to be the light. Okay. I'm going to have to be the light on, on Instagram. Okay. But I want to get you, get you to get this in your spirit. Tamara said, I'm feeling fantastic. Still riding the wave of love, positivity from the, th th the, the 34 amazing women who showered me with love and affirmation. And that's a beautiful thing. Some fire signs are feeling fired up. Some fire signs are feeling spicy. But guess what? Air signs, you are right in line with this fire energy, right? This fiery energy, this spicy energy. Aries governs the head. That's why so many of us had headaches. So now you still don't believe? Aries governs the head. Guess what? Libra is governed by Venus. That's why you're being triggered by matters of the heart in your life and in your affairs. That's why you're being triggered because guess what? You cannot take it with you. I know y'all been into an old sermon when somebody preach a sermon at the old church that tells you, baby, you can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. And so this is why we're at the end of the Piscean age. We're at the we're at the end in this retrograde. The good news is for fire and air signs who stay grounded intentionally, we're moving into Taurus season. I can't wait to talk about Taurus season. I got about four planets in Taurus, even though I'm an air sign. This is why you need to know your chart. This is why you need to know your blueprint. You need to know where this thing is going to hit you because it lasts 
for for years this 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 eclipse is going to last all year so guess what those of you who want microwave spiritual results microwave manifestation microwave coaches microwave coaches yes i said it mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not coming for violence but i do have aries in my chart too <laughs> i'm just saying and so you have been trying to go to the microwave, the fool's goal, the quick way to get it done. And listen, y'all, the, the bag, bag chasing is wearing you out. You better get your house in order. This one first. And then the four corners that you live in. Or the four corners of the world. Because this is a global energy. Get yourself together in in and in, in your and in, get your vision together, your desires of your heart together. Libra governs heart energy. It, it is about balance. Libra also, the good news is Libra is here for the underdog. Guess who's been an underdog in this in this world? Melanated people. Guess who have forgotten who they are? Melanated people, indigenous people to this land, to this earth. So this is why certain systems and institutions have to fall. And your doubt, your fear, your unforgiveness protects it. Your distraction, your need to be entertained by Diddy. You, you wouldn't be surprised if you turned on your third eye, you would be able to see all of this. You can see it on them. <laughs> you wouldn't be entertained. You wouldn't be put in a spell when you go to a, 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 a Bay concert. Yeah, I said a beehive. You can come for me if you want to. But you better know we don't have the idols y'all worrying about uh, offending Jesus. You, you've been been supporting all of the idols in other ways. Oh, uh, I appreciate this. I appreciate you, your your humility. I appreciate your your willing to say that, uh, Arlena. Arlena said, "I'm new to this. I'm new to this," and that's another segue to to speak to some of those of us who are not new to this, who have been true to this. We also have to be patient because people are waking up. People are asking questions. People are no longer being shamed and and put into fear by pastors who have an invested interest in keeping you asleep or institutions where, or, or sororities and fraternities or secret societies right inside of our own communities that intend to keep us asleep because we are holding in place a world that already has reached its expiration date. And what I mean by a world is not doomsday. If you've been, been taught hell and damnation, then you'll run everything through the, the, the filter of fear and hell and damnation. However, if you if you know and have a relationship with God that's loving, if you have a relationship with God that's intimate, if you have a relationship with God that's open, if you have a relationship with God that's ever revealing, if you don't have an intermediary between you and God, then what I'm saying is not going to make you afraid. You're not going to uh, feel like you're offending God because God wants you to know yourself so that you can serve your culture and your family. So my question to you today is when we talk about yes I can manifest, what would what would you do if you didn't need to get paid? What would you be doing? You don't have to answer it in the chat or you can. You can play with the energy and plant this seed because this seed is potent energy. What would you do if you weren't getting paid right now? What would you want to be doing? What would you dress? What, how would you dress? If you wasn't worried about getting groceries on sale, where would you shop? How would you, what would you have? What would you do? Because these are the things we need to be, be uh, conjuring, pulling in, thinking about. Who are the people around you? Who are your five top people that you would build a house on some land with? Yeah, yeah. You ain't got to see them every day. Don't think limited. Some of y'all still got a suburb consciousness. You know, I'm a country girl. I don't have a suburb consciousness. I grew up playing in cow pastures. I grew up. So if you, if 
you had to build land who, who are the top five people that you could build some build with that you could build a community with if, if, if the lights go off who, who do you have a system in your family for communication or is everybody gonna panic and fall out i'm asking most of all, is your discernment turned on so you can know you don't have to wait for the news to tell you when you need to get toilet tissue, when you need to get canned can goods. You don't have to wait on the news to tell you because if you wait on the news, then it's too late. You don't have to rely on social media to just push your product, your MLM thing. Mm-hmm. You will build relationships with people right now. We're going to have to do some things offline. <laughs> Gen X, where you at? In, Gen X, you in the house? Gen X, where you at, baby? Because Gen X is coming awake now. Everybody calling for Gen X. Mystical has a line now. I know y'all mystical is in some trouble. Mystical has, uh, has a line because you know I got the little the, got that little 504 energy in me. 504-601. Mystical said, I heard y'all was looking for me. Here I go. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> yes, Gen X, when they've been looking for us. Come with the mystical energy. Here I go. Because many of you have been knowing, you know, some of you all have been just surviving, trying to figure it out. You're still in a latchkey kid mentality. Some of us who are Gen Xers are still in a latchkey kid mentality, meaning that we're so still trying to fend for ourselves and figure it out. And I close with you with this last point. Figure it in. Figure it in. Stop trying to figure it out. Go within. Go within. So, so, so to that end, I have a gift for you today. I have a ebook called "Yes, I Can Manifest," and it may be a reminder for some, but abundance is available. Don't you all know? And in, 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 in this is uh, this is the time where certain people make the the biggest investments because they know that that this is temporary. You may be you may not need to buy 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 property or pay a mortgage. You may need to invest in land. You may need to to do stocks or something else. Precious metals. I would advise most of us to do precious metals. I would advise most of us to look at foreign currency. I will advise most of us to look at cryptocurrency. I would advise us to 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 not have such a strong disposition against AI. This is happening. The age of enlightenment. Do you understand the age of enlightenment? I close with this. If it's the age of enlightenment and it is, then you can't be heavy. Enlightenment is not just about what you know. Enlightenment is also about getting lighter. The cleansing that's happening, you don't have to work hard for it. Go lay down, go sit down somewhere. You know how the old people say, go sat down. Go sat down somewhere now, God is working. I, in fact, I heard that it's storming down south in Mississippi right now. I think it's even flooding in New Orleans. Is there anybody in New Orleans or, or in uh, Mississippi? Can you do a check-in on how you're doing? My mother called me. She said, baby, I just want to make sure you know I'm all right, but the storm is coming. Oh, my God, that's a word right there. there yes, there's a storm. But the word that just came to me was, yes, it's a storm, but pass me not, O gentle Savior. Guess what? The, let it not come near my dwelling. The, how, if you live down south, you know that there could be a storm on one street, raining, pouring down, and on the other street is dry. That is the, 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 the mindset that we have to get even in the forecast. Yes, it's, we, we can't stop what's coming. It's coming. Yes, there's going to be more disclosures. I'm telling you prophetically. 
and some of your idols, the people you put on pedestals, the party, the political parties that you thought was going to save you. That we are moving into a season of self sustainability and community and family. So when you when you look at your family and you think, um, yeah, they get on my nerves. Ain't nobody gonna be getting on your nerves when when that's all you got. You know how we say we all we got. We all we got. We all we got. And we got to find a way to love one another and to accept some of the errors because all of us have have trauma bonded here, there, and everywhere. All of us have flaws. So listen, I have a, a in my in the link. In, yes, Mignon, we all we got. And if you don't have anybody in your family, you need to get in community. Tribe up. Put that in the chat. Tribe up. It's tribe up season, baby. It's tribe up season. Let the like minds around you be your family. But treat them better than your family treated you. Ooh, that's good. That ought to bless somebody. If you can't deal with your family, if you're rejected by your family, and you're creating family with other people, treat them better than your family treated you. You cannot go into other communities unhealed and projecting onto other people what your cousins and them did to you. You can't go into, into to these tribes. You can't go to nobody's church. Mosque, Bimbe. <laughs> You can't go there and 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 treat them the way you say you were mistreated and then want a, a pass. Get some tools. Get some tools, y'all. What kind of tools? Meditation, prayer, affirmative prayer, not begging, moaning, whining, waiting, wailing, and not just knowing, and na 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 you, and na 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 and na 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 I'm not mocking because I know that the spirit moves, the spirit moves in me when I preach. But I'm, I'm saying we have to get away from just needing to be emotionally titillated. So, Yes, I can manifest is a gift that I'm offering to you to remind you that abundance is available, particularly for those of you who are working on calling forth the soft life. But we got to soften. How difficult is it for so many of us to soften and rest? I feel guilty sometimes when I take a day off and I my list is running in my mind as an entrepreneur, as a minister, all of the things I need to do. People in the inbox asking me for this, people purchasing things from my store and don't know how don't have technical skills. And it's in it and sometimes I have help and sometimes I don't. What a, and 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 guess what? I had to go lay down. Yes, it's hard, Doretha. It's hard when you've been programmed to be hard. Because our mothers who were who survived and came out of a depression programmed us to hard. And how many to do it hard? How many of you grew up with an old school big mama who told you, baby, I don't want you to have to depend on nobody? How many, how many of you grew up with that message? I don't want you to have to depend on nobody. Baby, go get your education so you don't have to ask nobody for nothing. I, I, come on now. So now we got some kind of pride when we got our own. And Lord knows if you grew up in any type of abject poverty and now you're trying to compensate for all the years that you thought that you wasn't enough or that you had shame from not having when the other kids had. And so now you're working your fingers to the bone. Thinking that if I work harder, then I'll have more. That program is outdated. It's old. It's wearing us out. And we don't, and our big mamas, many of them didn't look so good when they left here. Truth be told. Many big mamas were martyrs. 
And some of you think that you are doing yourself a favor by martyring yourself in the name of, well, I'm doing it for my children. The best thing you can do for your children is live well. The best thing you can do for, with your, for your children is have some tools that you can pass on to them as we navigate the change of guards in this world that we're in. So these eclipse symptoms are cleansing us. They're clearing us. They're upgrading our DNA. Do you want to do you really want a, a, a DNA upgrade when you are dealing with trauma? Do you want the trauma to be upgraded or do you want the energy energy of your creativity to be upgraded? Do you want, want to desire the, the light that you've had to hide because you just needed to get a check, but you never let your creative uh, potential or never express your creativity? You Do you desire more pleasure? Come, where are my pleasure uh, revolutionaries at? Where my my pleasure sisters at? How many of you know that pleasure is medicine and you can have pleasure in chaos? In fact, I would highly recommend it as a way um, as a way of praying, as a means of communication. <laughs> How many? Where where my 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 pleasureistas, my passionistas? Where are you, boo? You forgot about pleasure because you've been working so hard. You forgot about pleasure because you don't have a boo and you just resign to just do be alone because you don't want the headache because you're listening to all of these podcasts of people who ain't been in a relationship. Yes, I said ain't have not been in a relationship uh, ever or can't maintain one. Because this one, this Venus, Venus. Aries is in Chiron. Let me, let me. So I've told you, we got Aries leading the charge in, for the re retrograde. We just had the solar eclipse and it's not over. And, and, and what I mean is not over is the effects were significant um, and will last throughout the year. Um, we have other things coming up. We have Venus in, in the sitting conjunct. Uh, uh, this particular retrograde and this eclipse, which it governs the heart, it governs justice, it governs matters of the heart, it governs finding your balance. And we got Chiron. Chiron is the wounded healer. So that means all of the negative thoughts, all of the things that your subconscious mind have absorbed, all of the programs are up. Now, either you're going to fight for your limitations or you're going to surrender for your freedom. I'll close out again saying to you, yes, you can manifest. Yes, we can manifest. Yes, we will manifest. And when we get through this, they say 2025. When I say they say, the stars say. I'm talking about the planets, the stars, the constellations, the spiritual mathematics of predictions. That 2025, there's going to be a re-entry of peace. You know how when a baby is born <clears throat> and you kiss the baby because you don't know what you were pregnant with. Oh, my God. I hope this blessed somebody. You don't know what you're pregnant with until you, now they got all kind of x-rays and sonograms. But you don't know what you're pregnant with until it comes out. And even if you're not a physical uh, a, a physical mother, you 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 know when you an entrepreneur, you got an idea in your mind, you got a, a craft, and your and you don't know you you can feel it, you can see it, nobody else can. But then, when you give birth to it, you look and you say, "Wow, look what God has made." So though those who the word says, "He who has begun a good work in you." shall complete it those of you who have a good work has been has been begun in you it will be complete if you agree that yes you can manifest go to the link in my bio download this ebook it will come down at 12 o'clock if i'm awake tonight midnight it's available right now for pay what you can because <clears throat> we don't respect free you download free and then you don't look at it you download free and then you don't look at it. Go get this ebook, pay what you can.
because we're in a pay what you can season but the rest the reparations that's coming for us and i'm not talking about the one that we're asking the government to give to us people who beg for reparations still are not free you don't have to beg for reparations you are entitled it is your birthright to be free Your freedom is available when you say so. And what happens is spiritual knowledge opens the door for you to be able to handle the next level of information and the next level of information and the next. That's why everything, all conversations cannot be had on public platforms. And that is why the algorithm is not working. Because some of these youngins, millennials and Gen Zers, want to have closed door conversations on open platforms what kind of spiritual art of war is that honey go study the art of war go study the freedom riders before they ever made a move they met in part in private and it's okay okay come on through i am garifuna and maroon I love it when somebody comes into the space and they know their lineage and they can speak lineage, not crayons, not crayon colors, black, white, yellow. No, no, no. What is your indigenous? Well, I'm a Mississippian, indigenous and native to the land. The matriarchy has returned and will return. And matriarchy is rising. Speak your lineage. Just like you speak the name of the of your ancestors, speak your lineage. Even if you don't know all the names, speak your lineage. Garifuna in the house, baby. We're calling on the, that's real indigenous too. <laughs> and they are our cousins because the Americas. Okay, I'm go, I'm going off onto it, but anyway, we're going to be doing more talks around genealogy coming up. We got a perimenopause series coming up. Go get that ebook. The link is in my bio. You don't know how to get to my bio. Go click on my profile picture. If you are on Facebook, it's below in the description. If you need extra help, just say help in the comments and I'll make sure you get the link. I, I, I said it was going to be quick, but I got, I, you, you know, we got a lot of energy moving. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Get some greens inside of you. Um, see, my, like, really, like, seriously, this is not the season to be talking about junk food. Get a reading. I do those. I do frequency readings that includes your wellness, your chakras, your meridians, and your Akashic records. Get a blueprint reading. Find out how this thing is hidden in your natal chart, especially if your relationship is hanging in the balance, especially if you are on a job you hate. You may be doing something that you're not even supposed to do, especially if you are a projector, a reflector. Generators and manifesting generators, you have a little grace. But listen. I love you. I, I, my brother, I, Dr. Afi, my brother said, from the moment we can continue to say African-American, we make ourselves immigrants to the land we are native to. Come on, brother. Wait a minute. Let me get, let me get my Fleur de Lis in it. Y'all can't see what he said, but I got a clap on it with, with the Fleur de Lis. He's, I'll read it again. He said, the moment we continue, to say African Americans, we are making ourselves immigrants to the land that we are native to. And he's Cuban, but he knows that Cubans are not, they are not some Latinos as we've been told. They are our cousins with ancestry that is both African and indigenous. Come on now, who else? Did I miss somebody else's? I've been trying to get up off of here, but y'all talking today, baby, this Aries retrograde energy got y'all talking in here today. <laughs> yes, it's your birthright to be free, Tamara. Nina says, oh, wait a minute. I can show what y'all saying. Wait, before I go, let me put y'all your comments up on YouTube. 
I am learning to be softer with myself as well. I am being more loving with myself intentionally. I shall. Okay. And then Tamara said, it's your birthright to be free. Y'all still talking over here. I'm going I'm to catch it. I'm going to catch it. Wait a minute. Who said it? Dana said, we can, all, we can call forth the soft life, but we must first soften. Yes, you got it. You got it. You picking up what I'm putting down. Dana said, we all got to tribe up. We got to tribe up. We got to love on one another. Yes, sun gazing. Sun, they tell you don't look at the sun, but sun gazing is a form of spiritual diet. Yes. <clears throat> Come on now. Yeah, I love it when my when my advanced practitioners show up and start talking and teaching in the comments. Because guess what? Somebody's watching those comments who do have no clue what we're talking about. And you're helping them. And you may be able to even answer them. All right. Did I miss any more comments? I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's just go on and vibe up and tribe up. Go check out the Yes, I Can Manifest. Go get the ebook today. Yes, I Can Manifest, particularly for those of you who want to manifest a softer life. You want to manifest a partner. You still want to, to, to be well loved, well loved. You want to put your family in the right position. Consider jo joining the Juicy, um, the Get Juicy 7 opens next week. The Get Juicy 7, the, which is seven day reset of the feminine abundance basics. And it's not all frilly and woo woo. This is a real game plan for you to, to both feel good, feel goddess, and attract and set up a strategy for your family, your finances, and your feminine. Okay? So get, get in where you fit in next week. If the doors open and you will be able to experience juicy. This is a juicy season. It's a potent season. We're getting ready to go into Taurus energy, which is all about your money, your career, and your sex. Love, sex, and money. So... I'll see you all on the other side. Make sure you're here next Wednesday at one o'clock. If you're in the tribe, the Rebirth 360 Sanctuary, I posted this morning a little bit more about the symptoms we're experiencing. Um, so yeah, so get in the sanctuary. We're doing morning manna on Wednesdays just for us to have talk, tribe talk in, in a safe space without editing here on this platform. Um, and we're going to be featuring more experts. So there's no excuse. If you don't have any money, you got energy, right? Stop thinking your money is the paper. The money is your energy. And sometimes you need to lead with yes, or how can I? When can I? Instead of I don't have it. So yes, you do have it. So close out with me. Yeah, I'm Akisha. Come, come, welcome home, baby. Yes, you're learning about your divine feminine. Come learn in a safe space. Come take your time and learn. So let's close out. Yes, I can manifest. So let's close out with that before we go. Yes, I can manifest. Come on, drop it in one more time for the road. I wish I had some music cued. I want you to just put that in there. Yes, I can manifest. Yes, I can manifest. See, I don't know about you, but I'm saying it for me. Yes, I can. You, you're going to feel like, no, you can't some days. Yes, I can. You, Especially those of you who are working a job. You're not going to feel like it. You may run out of sick leave. But guess what? Yes, you can. Yes, you can handle it. Yes, you can learn. Yes, you can unlearn. Yes, you can relearn. Yes, you can be juicy. Yes, you can have pleasure. Yes, you can create a, create a new business. Yes, you can have a return on your investment. Yes, you can heal your relationships with your family. Yes, you can forgive. Yes, you can bounce back. Yes, yes, yes. Call on your sacred yes. The sacred yes is not just a response to somebody asking you something. The sacred yes is a full body availability. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love y'all now. I got to go. I got to go take a nap because guess what? I thought I was free and clear from all the ascension symptoms. 
and about <clears throat> and i hadn't eaten any food to slow me down but uh, uh, later on I said oh wait a minute be gentle be easy pace yourself girlfriend you're feeling good today but don't take it too far i literally feel spirit slowing me down to take care of myself uh, everything i put in my mouth everything i put in my ear every every person i spend time with every phone call i am being very mindful because i know who i am i know i'm an energetic sponge i know what i'm called to do i know i know who i'm called to and i still don't know what i don't know and i'm available to what i don't know i don't know because my prayers include the things that i don't know that i don't know otherwise i probably wouldn't pray like i have had to pray in the last few months when i've lost people i probably wouldn't have sang and danced when the, when my heart was grieving I, I probably wouldn't have had to yield myself into to my altar when i couldn't make human sense of it when even the or felt like the orisha was slow to answer or I, the elders were busy uh, uh the godmother the godparent was going through their own thing the mentor the mentee was trying to figure it out for them it had to be me and god so i'm telling you i am not exempt welcome the i don't know what i don't know <laughs> so that God can use you so that you can be used that's a prayer ashe 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 oh I love y'all I'll talk to y'all on the other side okay check the check the link in the bio check the let me know in the comments if you want the link okay but brother said when we have no one we must be reminded we have ourselves and and guess what that's a beautiful thing isn't it all right. See you all on the other side. Ciao, everyone. For real this time.